Hello, my abundant healers. Welcome to Monday. So time is running out on our open enrollment period, the last day to enroll in the Abundant Healer. 90 days to scale your practice online is May 5th. So we are coming down to the wire here and you're gonna see me popping into our group a lot more often doing live streams like this. And for today, for this video today, I'm going to suggest something rather controversial about balance, okay? Now, this notion of balance is really based on the idea that contentment is achievable. But I'm going to tell you that that is an impossible goal. <laughs> You're not here to be content. You are here to witness the experience of the contrast and exhilaration of your ever expanding desire. Now, the only reason you would need a respite from work, for example, to achieve work-life balance, right, would be if you are being drained, right? If your energy is being focused on anything other than what you love or if you are not allowing the things that you love to change. Okay. And so, and this is the controversial part, you only need balance in your life when you are being inauthentic. And what do I mean by that? When you are beating the drum of not having, right, and you're out of alignment with your source energy. So, for example, it might seem like making up to $10,000 a month by scaling your practice online would be difficult. But it's actually the path of least resistance. At least it was for me. Waking up every day to go to a job or a career that is not working for you and actually um, pushes you out of alignment with who and what you are, that is difficult, right? That's hard. That's just keeping your head above water, right? And you know what else is difficult? Being underpaid and overworked in a job that doesn't value your skills. Inconsistent clients who don't show up or don't pay your full rate or don't pay you on time, right? Trading time for money with no real payoff and never ending debt and student loans. Um, losing touch with your creativity and feeling burnt out, right? Worrying about being too salesy or immoral for charging what your time, energy, effort, and talents are worth. Marketing and technology overwhelm when it comes to building your online platform. Dealing with broken referral systems that just don't produce any referrals, <laughs> right? Now in my practice, my intention is always to let it be fun, to always let it open me up wider and wider every time the universe sends me a correction in my direction, what you might think of as failure, right? And so to my mind, dividing up your life into these different categories that you somehow have to juggle and balance is ultimately going to backfire on you. So work bleeds into play. Play bleeds into relationships. Relationships build the foundation of everything else, and it all exists in the same bucket. And so when you're vibing, when you feel good, follow it, flow with it. Blocking that flow because you should be doing uh, a little bit each day so you don't burn out. I'm sorry, but that's bullshit, okay? In the same way that spending a day doing nothing because that's what's vibing in the moment isn't slacking on your goals either. So here's the thing you have to remember. Contentment is not your goal, and you are never going to be satisfied. <laughs> now, that might sound like a weird thing for me to say, considering I'm trying to sell you on course on how to gain greater life satisfaction, but I really want to be clear here. I am not trying to sell you on contentment. It's the direction that you are going in, okay? It's the understanding that your desire, is ever expanding, okay? And the moment you decide and you commit to flowing with that expansion is the moment that you accept that satisfaction with anything other than being in process and just going with the flow is actually a myth. 
that's a myth. It's bullshit. <laughs> and that is going to slow you down. That is actually going to kill your joy. Okay. Now, I am all about creating a practice to support your spiritual expansion, the expansion of your desires, not to render your expanding desire inert with false promises of happily ever after. Where's the fun in that? Right? Where's the growth in that? So I currently run a very dynamic and profitable practice. I teach, I write, I speak publicly, I conduct workshops. I also conduct individual sessions in person and online with clients all over the world, including Brazil, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, the United Kingdom, Spain, and Canada, just to name a few. I don't know if you can tell, but I love what I do. Why would I want to chop that up? Right? My job isn't to do, you know, a certain amount of work. My job is to remain in what I call receiving mode and to keep myself aligned in the moment and to be in flow with the process, even if that means I have to give up and walk away from the things I just spent a week and a half producing, months producing, years producing. You have to hold it and love it and flow with it and be willing to walk away from it at the same time. Right? Now, sometimes that looks like overwork. Sometimes it looks like not working at all, but I'm always playing. I'm always having fun and I'm working all the time. <laughs> I'm creating a life and a career on what it means to be in alignment with my source energy based exclusively on what I love to do, on what brings me pleasure. And it is simpler, not more complicated, to do good work when you fill your life up with the things that you love, okay? Now in my program, The Abundant Healer, 90 Days to Scale Your Practice Online, I invite you to fall in love with yourself and your career and your desires and your pursuits all over again, and then to just strap in for the ride of your life as you start to coast along that wave of limitless desire because it starts to expand. You stop fighting with it so much, and that's what's creating all of this burnout, anxiety, and fear-based scarcity attitudes, right? You're fighting against the wave, you're swinging, swimming against the current. And the thing is, the more you swim against the current, the bigger your desires get, and the bigger the wave gets, and then the harder you do, right? It's time to flow with it. So I want you to think, I want you to consider, and I want you to think about what if you could make boy band money doing what you love? all the while honoring spirit and tapping into your soul purpose, taking a radical approach to calling in what I call soul clients, okay? Unleashing your creativity and tapping into that soul purpose. Learning how to work smarter, not harder, right? And generating income online, expanding beyond that one-to-one -one business model. You're not abandoning it, incidentally. It usually feeds into that. <laughs> now, if you don't know me, if you've just seen me for the first time, you've just joined the group. My name is Brianna McWilliam. I am a creative arts therapist, author, educator, and Reiki practitioner. Been in the field for about 12 years. Also happen to be an online entrepreneur. And I've started bringing in about $10,000, up to $10,000 per month in online revenue within the past uh, little under two years. And... I really have a fire in my belly when it comes to teaching you how to achieve the same success that I have had simply by tapping into my own higher knowing and applying practical tips and tools needed to set the material apparatuses up so that my energy can call in what it is that I want in the form that I want, i.e. money, clients, cash flow, speaking engagements and opportunities, things like that, right? So that you can start to see your dreams really take shape in reality. And so the Abundant Healer Signature Program, it's a journey that leads you through the leaping, landing, and what I call thriving phases of your business. And it includes the exact steps that I implemented in my practice to start generating that up to 10K per month in online revenue, right? And I really did this with no prior experience with marketing or online technologies. My background is in art. I'm an illustration major. And then I became a psychotherapist. And so I invested in myself with business mentorship and coaching. And basically, this program, I pulled together 
all the juiciest bits of the programs that I have taken to make it into a one-stop shop, right? So that you can go through this process without having the stress of piecemealing a bunch of different programs together or spending a lot of money on gurus and, and experts. Okay. And you know, I did this with a broken heart. <laughs> I did it with next to no money in the bank. I did it raising a six-year-old son of my own and taking care of family members with chronic illnesses. And that is still blowing my mind. And so if you are interested, if you are ready to ride the wave of your ever-expanding desire, there is no time to lose because our open enrollment period is about to end on May 5th. So I'm going to put a link to our information page in the caption of this video. Make sure you check it out so that you can step into a life where work is play and play is work and it's all vibing, it's all love, right? Okay. So hit me up with comments in the feed if you have any questions, concerns, PM me. But I hope to see you signing up for our program because I know you belong there. Oh, and we have Andrea here. Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me on this live feed. Let me know in the comments below what comes up for you. Any questions? And we can start addressing those in the feed as well this week. All right, see you on the inside.